Hey everybody, this is Allison Chastain, your Upline Presidential Diamond. Um, I wanted to make a video on leadership for my team and what I feel like one team, one mission really means. So this is just how I run my business. It's a very ethical, um, moral way to run your business and I just wanted to share it with you because I really believe that when you help others, you have more blessings that come upon you, um, which is actually um, very biblical as well. Just the more that you, the more you, more that you give, the more you receive and um, that's just kind of how it works. But um, so my thoughts are one team, one mission, uh, which we call ODEM. Um, I really believe that it should be in all aspects of your life, not just um, when, you know, you have a one team, one mission training and everybody can come to it. That's great. That's awesome. But I also believe that um, you should help people when they need it. So, I mean, I've adopted lots of people that didn't know who their upline was or didn't feel like their upline was helpful or didn't feel like their upline um, could help them. Uh, lots of different reasons um, for adopting, and it was just kind of a case-by-case -case basis. Um, I even allow my adoptees to participate in my contests and win. Um, I think that it's just, I don't really believe in karma, but I think it's good karma. Um, but I just think that I, it's helping people, and I'm happy to help people, and um, eventually that is going to come full circle um, because I'm giving, and eventually, and you know, the Lord knows my heart, and he's going to bless me um, because of that. And that's just how I feel that we should run our business as leaders. Um, I think that if we all, and, and my team is all over the place, you guys are everywhere, so um, if we all as leaders were to um, run our business this way and model it for everyone else as well, whereas if, say, I have somebody in another state and I could send them to you, even though they might not be underneath you and they might not be on your team, knowing that you were going to help them and not steal them from me, you know, and just having that peace of mind that, you know, you have good intentions and you're just here to help. And the same thing is going to happen whenever you send your people to me. I'm going to help them. Um, and same thing is going to happen when you send them to, you know, Joe Schmo in North Carolina. I don't know. I'm just making up places that you know that they're operating their business in a one team, one mission uh, fashion, which means that they are going to uh, take care of your people just like they were their own and not you won't have any worry that they're going to tell them, well, you know, um, if you don't stop what you're doing now, cancel your agreement, and start up with me in three months, I'm not going to help you. You know, knowing that they're actually just going to help them, just because, even though they might not make a penny from it, um, just because out of the kindness of their hearts. And that's how I operate my business. That's how I hope and pray that you operate your business. I have a couple of Bible verses that I wanted to share that kind of go along with it, if you don't mind. First Peter 3, eight. Finally, all of you should be of one mind. Sympathize with each other, love each other as brothers and sisters, be tender hearted and keep a humble attitude. I think that goes great with this. And then Romans twelve sixteen, live in harmony with each other. Don't be too proud to enjoy the company of ordinary people and don't think you know it all. Um first Peter four, eight through ten. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Offer hospitality to one to one another without grumbling. Each of you should use whatever gift that you have Receive to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Ephesians 4.29, don't let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. And the last one is Philippians 2.3-4. through 4. I love this one. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. I feel like the true definition of one team, one mission is very biblical. Just truly helping other people, whether it benefits you or not, the thing is is that God still sees your good deeds, and he will reward you for those, whether it's a blessing of, you know, it works paying for your groceries, whether it's um, a blessing of someone giving you some clothes that you need. I mean, it doesn't have to be monetarily, but you will be blessed when you give especially with a heart that is, um, that is uh, true and genuine and um, appreciative and just, just with a humble heart. Um, that's probably the best word, humble heart. So anyway, I hope that um, you took something from this, and thank you all for listening.